Hello and welcome. My name is Dylan, and today we're going to be do covering steps 8 to 15 of Operation Elbrus. So for step 8, Lord Saladin has an update for you, so we need to visit the war table in the helm. So I will see you guys after this briefing. So after that um, briefing, we're going to go ahead and click accept. Okay, so step 9 is asking us to enter the PsyOps Battleground Cosmodrone and secure the Hive Lieutenant. So to access that, we're going to go to the Cosmodrone on Earth. So we're going to go to de Destinations. We're going to go over here to Cosmodrone in the bottom middle. And right in the bottom middle of the map for the Cosmodrome, we're going to see this section here, and we're going to go ahead and launch it. So interestingly enough, for this one, it looks like we have to push this payload and just kill all of the enemies that challenge us while we're doing that. So just go ahead and kill everything and push this payload to 100% progress. The whole way, you can just ride on the top and shoot all of the enemies pretty easily. Uh, it gives you the best vantage point to destroy them pretty quickly. And when you get to this section here, it's just um, wave after wave of enemies. And you kill a light bearer wizard. Be careful with this little section here, because um, I was using a sword and sliced myself right off the edge. So. so upon completion of that, just collect your loot from the chest. And then it says that we are going to head back to the helm. And we're going to go and check out the captive that we have there downstairs at the helm. All right, so once we arrive in the helm, it doesn't look like the left side or the right side are open. Let's check the back. Ah, okay, we finally get to go through the back here. This is the only one we didn't get to enter last season. Holy, looks pretty fucking cool in here. I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of a cutscene, so I'll see you guys after. Damn, that's uh, those collections of cutscenes just pulled on your heartstrings. Holy crap. Definitely make sure that uh, that you guys watch those for sure. Um, all right, let's check out our new quest step here. So we need to gather intel by completing Witch, Ca Witch Queen missions in the Throne World. Uh, it can also be found in public events. Strike. You can get it basically doing anything. Uh, you can also get it killing enemies as well. But one thing that was preventing people last week from progressing their quest, if we go ahead and open up my inventory here, we can see that I am currently 2,000 out of 2,000 uh, psychogenic intel. Now, I will not be able to get any more intel while I have this. So what I can do is I can go ahead and launch the playlist from the helm, and I could open up the runic chests, or I could simply go back to my inventory here, and I could discard uh, this psychogenic intel, which is what I'm going to do to save time. Uh, just going to discard it, and then I can quickly go and do a couple of activities and earn that psychogenic intel back. And then I can go ahead and get step 11 done of the quest of collecting 500 intel. Okay, so to get the 500 intel, all I did was just hop into Crucible. And the weekly challenge for Crucible in week 2 is to just do Mayhem. So I just hopped into the Mayhem playlist and um, just played two matches of that. It was over super quickly. And if we go to my inventory here and we check it, I now have 590 prismatic intel or psychogenic intel. Sorry, not prismatic. So now all we have to do is launch the um, PsyOps Battlegrounds from the helm. We just launch the playlist. We complete that and we open up a runic chest at the end. And I'll see you guys right after that quest up. So we get to the end here and we go ahead and decrypt our chest. And we get a new quest step where we have to debrief with debrief with Saladin in the helm. So let's head over to the helm. So we're going to interact here. I assume there's going to be a cutscene for you guys to watch. So after we hear Saladin uh, complain about Crow, we get an Umbral Ingram. Which we can go ahead and accept. And we have a new quest here. So let's go ahead and open up our quest step. Now that does look like it is the last step for this week, but there's one more thing that you can do. If you go into your seasonal challenges, you can go ahead and complete this one here, which will give you another insight. And if we back out here and open up the war table and we go in here to the upgrade section, we can go ahead and unlock these different things. Now, the interesting thing is that we thought, or I thought, most people I presume thought, that you had to unlock this first one to unlock the second one. But it looks like you can just go ahead and unlock 
um, whenever they are unlocked for the week, you can go ahead and just skip and do whichever ones you want. So you don't have to pick ones that don't make sense for you um, until maybe you get lots of insights towards the middle part of the season. But for now, just go through and select the ones that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and select the seasonal weapons here. So we're going to grab that. And then if we back out of this and we go to the second page, we can see that I can now go ahead for one Umbral Engram, 50 Legendary Shards, and nine Risen Umbral Energy. I can go through and grab rolls of these different weapons here, and that can help me to get patterns or whatever. I have a chance when I grab these weapons of getting the red bar ones so that I can complete other quests. And like I said, get the patterns so I can craft them for myself. So anyways, guys, I hope this video helped. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody.